Welcome Midtown Video Web Surfers. I'm Jesse Miller with What's Hot. Today What's Hot is Sony's exciting new PDW700. It's an XDCAM HD camcorder, records in 50 megabits per second, 422 color space, and has a 2 thirds inch lens mount. We're going to break down the exciting features, first in hardware, then in software. The first hardware feature we already mentioned, 2 thirds inch lens mount, totally awesome. Take any glass off your Betacam, Digibeta, standard definition XDCAM camcorder, stick it right on the front of the PDW700. This also allows for the flexibility in terms of the Pro35 adapter from PS Technic and also the DigiPrimes from Zeiss. Anything that has a 2 thirds inch lens mount compatibility will mount directly to the front of the camera. Let's move back to the CCD block. What has Sony done here? Well, they've taken their highest level HD camera, the HDC1500, exactly duplicated the CCD block and stuck it right here in the PDW700. You're going to get the very highest level of high definition images. With 14-bit analog to digital conversion, you're not going to find a better camera. Other hardware features, let's slide a little bit back here. This window gives you time code, disk remaining time, and battery remaining time. So you can have a nice clean image on your viewfinder and still have the important information on this LED screen. Uh, let's slide back just a little further. SDI out 1 and 2. This is for Sony's new live and play functionality. It means you can simultaneously output the camera's image from the CCD block as well as the disc image from playback. This is totally versatile. Say you're in the field and need to send your playback feed from the day's recordings to the satellite truck. But you also need to frame up your next shot. You can do this both images at the same time thanks to live and play. Totally cool. Take a look at this, SDI in option. That means you can show up to the set without a deck. Take a pool feed from whoever's serving up video and record it to the disc on your PDW700. Very awesome feature. Um, let's talk about audio for a second. On the front, you've got your five pin stereo input from your microphone. And on the back, just like you're used to, two three pin XLR inputs for whatever uh, microphones you might be using, wireless, mm, handheld, whatever you got. Uh, you got line, mic, and 48 volt, just like you're used to from way back on Sony's cameras. Finally, with regard to audio, you've got a slot back here that'll allow a dual channel wireless receiver. Slides into the slot, powered by the camera, and allows you two channels of audio. Now, taken together, you've got a total of four channels of 24-bit audio. Totally awesome. Lastly, on the hardware side, let's talk about computer operability. Right here, you've got your FireWire output for a file access link, file access mode, which allows you to send data, proxy data, and entire files back and forth from a computer. And now standard on the PDW700, Ethernet. This allows for an even faster transfer of your files. There's also a USB slot here. Sony says this is for um, future functionality. We're excited to find out what's going on. Um, now you're up to date on the hardware of the PDW700. Let's move to the software features. As I mentioned before, it records in XDCAM HD at 50 megabits per second, very high data rate. Also, you can record in 1080, 60i, 30p, and coming soon, 24p. You also have the ability to record in 720p uh, formats with the ability to cross convert 1080 recorded, 720 output, and vice versa. Additionally, you can up convert your SDI and your composite inputs to be HD SDI. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, furthermore, we're talking about recording on dual layer XDCAM discs. Although it records both on the single layer and the dual layer discs, you get 96 minutes on a single disc. Um, as our friend Philip Bloom says, it's as long as an English football match. Uh, on the subject of England, you should know it also has 50i and 25p formats for all of our PAL countries. Uh, further, although this camera is best recorded in 50 megabits per second, you also have the ability to record in DV Cam, MPEG IMX for your standard definition formats, and also the XD Cam HD in 35 megabits per second, like on the PDW F350. Uh, this brings us to another point of some features it has in common with the F350. Because we're on the disc, and you're not fast forwarding or rewinding, you never have to worry about overwriting your footage. Every time you hit record, you get a new clip, and you can view these clips in the thumbnail viewer here. Uh, as I said, no fast forwarding, no rewinding, just scan to the next clip using the thumbnail viewer. Beautiful. Finally, I'd like to talk about the slow shutter and white balance features. Slow shutter allows you to accumulate multiple frames of light on a single frame of recorded video. 
This allows for virtual shooting in the dark. You don't have to boost the gain, you don't have to do anything. It also allows you very creative uh, uh, you know, leverage over lights. You can make things blur, you can do cool time lapses, and most importantly, if you've got static video, you can get pitch black darkness to show up like bright as day on the viewfinder. It's really beautiful. Slow shutter, I encourage you to experiment with it. And finally, the white balance. You can always do um, an automatic white balance on A, B, or preset. However, this camcorder, just like the 350, allows you to dial up or down the, uh, the white balance in degrees Kelvin in uh, increments of 23 degrees. So if it's just, just a little bit off, you can get into the menu and make it a little warmer or a little cooler without having to do an automatic white balance. Pretty awesome. Um, I hope you've enjoyed our time today on the PDW700. If you'd like to get your hands on a demo, come on into Midtown Video. Maybe you want to place an order. <laughs> Call us up, send us an email, we'd love to see you. Thank you very much for coming to see us today, and remember, when you see property of Midtown Video, you are guaranteed it's awesome.